1,500 calories while still eating out of bowls and casserole dishes the size of your head. Okay, here we go. What is up people, welcome back to a new full day of eating and I'm warning you already, this one is intense. The lowest calorie one yet and what I'm gonna call the digging phase diet, okay? Especially for men. So you know, when you're in a contest prep, the last few weeks of the diet is basically referred to as the digging phase where you really try everything you can to get the last bit of fat off. So this meal plan is basically tailored for that. But unlike other YouTubers digging phase diets where they are miserable all the time, you know we're all about eating out of bows the size of our head. So I have done my absolute best to try and make this phase as bearable as possible so you can eat as much food as possible and not turn into an absolute mess and still feel somewhat satiated. So yes, if you haven't already, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and as with every meal plan, let's go to the shops to pick up the ingredients you're gonna need. And today's shop of choice for this video is gonna be the Motherland Numero 6 Aldi. Now I have been picking up a few ingredients throughout the week to sort of prepare for this, but I'm still gonna go through everything you need for this meal plan. So first on the list is gonna be some reduced fat cheese. Of course, you're gonna need some eggs. Then you're gonna need some tuna in brine. Not sunflower oil, brine. If you're eating sunflower oil, tuna in the digging phase, then I really question you as a human. Anyway, next is gonna be some no added sugar beans, a beautiful juicy orange, a ton of mushrooms, a big ass bag of broccoli florets, a big ass bag of cauliflower florets, a bag of pasta. Now, ideally, you would go for the brown pasta. That's what you're gonna need, and I do have it at home, but yeah, pasta. Some chopped tomatoes, some sort of lean red meat, so either a steak, but we're gonna go for some beef stir fry, a bag of trusty spinach, some super lean cod fillets, a bag of white potatoes, some sort of popcorn, so either the kernels or just the packet one, a beautiful crispy apple, some sort of diet drink, so you can go for like Coca-Cola or anything that tickles your fancy, and then the final ingredient you're gonna need is of course a whey protein but i don't know about you i don't think aldi is sophisticated enough to stock that but yes whey protein you're gonna need that and the goods have been acquired and i already know a lot of you smart people out there will be asking scott we know about the volume foods that you always buy you know broccoli cauliflower and stuff but what's with the foods like oranges steak potatoes fish i mean you never include those look Okay, this is where I am stepping it up a notch, okay? Because sometimes, I'm sure you can relate, eating a ton of volume doesn't always fill you up, okay? So therefore, for this diet, we wanna actually mix in foods that are the most satiating on the planet. And Holt et al. 1995 actually studied this, showing that out of a list of 38 foods, you can see in the graph, some of the most satiating on the planet include popcorn, oats, steak, fish, potatoes, oranges, apples, and a few more foods. So the approach to this meal plan is gonna be not only to bulk out your meals but to also include some of these okay so that is going to be the plan every single meal so without further ado let's get to your breakfast which is going to have a volume food and a satiety food right here we go so you would have seen on that graph that eggs beans and fish are very very satiating okay so those are going to be our satiating foods then to bulk it out and add more volume we have some veg so we have an onion some chopped tomatoes and some spinach so normally i would make up an omelet but you know what we're all about switching it up on this channel and having different healthy recipes. So yes, although we have the usual scramble all mixed up there, we have this muffin tray. So can you guess what we're gonna do? That's right, we're gonna make up some breakfast muffins. And this is a good way of actually tricking yourself to thinking that you're actually eating more. So we have preheated the oven. We got our tray there. Oh my God, that is hot. We're gonna put that on the top for like 10 minutes, like so. Then in the meantime, we get our beans. Then we're gonna need a bowl. And of course, we're gonna go for the staple Mickey Mouse one. Crack them open like so. Pour it into your bowl. Transfer to the microwave. Pop them in the middle. And we are gonna go full power for six minutes. So you know the deal. Bish, bash, bosh. Look at these family. Oh my God, they came out absolutely perfectly. Again, the full description of the recipe will be linked down below. But yes, try this out. But there is something missing. And that is gonna be one of the most satiating fruits on the planet, your orange. So yes, that is pretty much gonna be your breakfast. And I already know someone out there is gonna say, Scott, can I not intermittent fast and like bank calories? Look, 
I would normally advocate intermittent fasting, but seeing as you are digging and on such low calories and you want to preserve as much lean body mass as possible, you would be stupid not to eat in the morning, okay? Because as you can see in the graph by Wolf 2016, after an overnight fast, rates of muscle protein breakdown are significantly elevated, meaning you risk a load of muscle loss. But simply having a serving of protein, much like the egg muffins, can shift you back into a positive muscle balance, which will help preserve lean body mass. So yes, you want to stimulate MPS in the morning and sort of just minimize total calories while doing so. But anyway, in terms of macros for this meal, they'll be on the screen, 26 grams of carbs, three grams of fat and 48 grams of protein so 323 calories and that is meal numero uno ticked off the list now i wasn't going to include this in this video but i might as well turn it into a vlog because I do have somewhere to take you previously earlier on in this week we have had a very very sad moment in the family flashback Okay, flash from the past. I don't know when you're going to see this, but we have had a terrible death in the family. That's right. My Nutri bullet has died. No, it's plugged in. The light is on and it just doesn't spin. It broke yesterday when I was doing my sweet potato pie. But we do have all of the little add-on things that you got. So if there's one life lesson you take from this video is is to keep your damn receipts family so we are in carrot mines and it was under warranty so we returned it to curry's pc world we actually got store credit and i have been doing my blender research so we are at power city because although i could have exchanged it for another nutri bullet in pc world i have been doing my research like i said and the ninja is what seems to be best and only pc world have it look at this bad boy oh my god 250 so yeah i'm thinking i'm gonna pick this up i'm always gonna use store credit in pc world but yeah it's either this one this is like a little baby one it's only like 1000 watts or there is like a hot and cold soup maker and then there is the whopper so i think i'm gonna invest because i do need it to like crush ice and stuff so i don't want it to break again so you will find out which one we get in three two one that is right people we have gone for the absolute whopper probably completely unnecessary as you get like all of these three things but i can't think of anything better to spend money on than kitchen appliances <laughs> i am getting very very old and it is absolutely roasting but yeah apparently it does ice it does nuts if you want to blend your nuts and it's just pretty much one of the best blenders so comment down below if you're a ninja fan or if you have this one it should be very interesting so yeah let's get home and open up this bad boy oh my days family if there was an award for the amount of crap that you get in the package oh my god this is the box here and you literally get so much wasted cardboard on the floor and everything but yes this is everything you get ultimately so yeah a whopper whopper package for sure and i have just tried that one out with dad and it looks promising but yeah i'm gonna test it out sort of during the week and probably give you an update like in the next video but for now we're gonna move on to the next meal so we're actually gonna make a new recipe it's gonna be like a potato steak gratin whatever language that is so yes we have our beef we have some cheese some white potatoes and then we have our bulk ingredients here the broccoli florets and then the mushrooms and then some leftovers tomatoes from earlier so the first thing to do is going to be to partially cook your steak again why steak if you saw in the graph steak is up there with some of the most satiating foods on the planet so when that's done we have all of our vegetables in the wok so we transfer that into the pan like so put on the lid and let it simmer and then this is the game changer because we have our white potatoes at the ready and then in here we have a nice little gadget where is it this thing it has most definitely seen better days but essentially it's used to like make chips so what we do is get a tray and essentially what we're gonna do is slice them up into super thin like crisp style slices so there we go good volume actually and these are the most satiating out of all of those 38 foods hence we're using them anyway we bring them over to our cooker we have a look at the mix okay that's looking pretty good so the next thing to do is transfer the mix into a casserole dish the size of your head and you want to flatten it down like so because can you guess what's gonna happen next Correct, we top it with the potatoes and a potato gratin is not a potato gratin without some cheese. Cheese is good for your heart. The more you eat, the more you make some gains. But yes, this is the final product. And as per usual, we have preheated the oven. So we are gonna get that. This is on very high heat. Now we're gonna put that on the top and then you know the deal. Bish bash bosh, thank me later family. Oh my God, we have the crispy potatoes, the melted cheese, and of course there's something missing. And that is gonna be your beverage to wash it down with, of course. And in this case, it's gonna be some cancer juice. I already know everyone's gonna call me out on that, but 
we are digging, so we need to have our cans of juice. Anyway, that is going to be the meal. Look at this. Oh my God, that's hot. <laughs> Oh, okay, here we go. We have our oven glove. Oh my days. This is hot family. Look, ah, look at that bad boy. Beautiful, eating out of casserole dishes the size of your head. Yes, in terms of macros, you're talking 36 grams of carbs, 12 grams of fat, and 53 grams of protein. So 464 calories for what is essentially a new recipe to this channel, the potato gratin, anabolic potato gratin of peace. And as always, if you try it out, then I want you to tag me in your Instagram stories and let me know what you think. But yeah, that is meal number two, ticked off the list. And we are back in the hermit room doing a bit of coaching. If you want to sign up to the team, you know, click the first link down below. There is still space available. But while I'm here, I want to touch on one topic because I know a lot of you will be like, oh my God, on this digging phase, I'm going to lose all my gains with such low calories. Look, I do agree that the environment created is by no means optimal. But if you eat protein frequently enough and then also supply the stimulus for the muscle to stick around through resistance training, then there is evidence out there to suggest that you can still preserve lean body mass. So for example, a very recent study by Joe et al. 2019 got people to undergo a very low 1,120 calorie diet for 12 weeks, assigned to either a walking only or a resistance training only group. Okay, showing that as you can see in the graph, resistance training led to barely any muscle loss versus the walking group who lost a ton. Okay, so I've said it before, protein and lifting weights is going to be key if you're on low calories and digging. Okay, and speaking of lifting weights, we're going to go for another flat back because of course we did work out this morning and that's right it was actually a home workout flash from the past because I have been going to raw I'm gonna mix and match home workouts because last week man has been sort of in the market for a piece of equipment and I'm not gonna give you the full overview of the gym but uh, let's just say it's come or well, we've got it and I'll give you a little clue but here we go whoop <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna sort of a uh, see how this goes for the next few days. Of course, I'm still gonna be a member of Raw, but uh, yeah, exciting time. So anyway, let's get back to the meal plan and that is gonna be your next meal, which is gonna be some snacks. Okay, here we go. So yes, you are having snacks during this digging phase. Now, if you go back to the graph by Hold That Al, what two sort of snack foods stand out to you the most in being the most satiating on the planet? I don't know about you, but I see popcorn is definitely one of them. Now, there is also another one and that is gonna be a nice crispy apple. So yeah, both of these are actually nice high volume foods along with being very satiating. So yeah, but they're mostly sort of carb rich. Now we're bodybuilders, we need some protein. So you already know, man has been preparing for this and yesterday we have cooked up. Do you know what these are? Oh geez, we'll know. That's right, the DIY anabolic protein popsicle of peace. And not only one, but three of them. And if you haven't already seen how we make these up, that, oh my God, this is, oh, we got it. Look at this bad boy. They are so, so good. Again, the response, Last time was really good. If you haven't seen how I make these up, <laughs> look, we have the bit of the knife. We use a knife as a lollipop stick. Take that off, I don't wanna be eating a knife. But yeah, pretty much a chocolate popsicle and you get three of these plus your popcorn and your apples. So yeah, that is gonna be your snack, a high volume and also highly satiating. So you're talking 28 grams of carbs, seven grams of fat and 17 grams of protein. So 243 calories for your snack, okay? And that is gonna keep you ticking over through this digging phase. But yes, this is so, so good. Again, try it out. Mmm, beautiful. And also another thing to consider is that they take forever to eat. And we know the longer it takes for a meal to eat, the more satiated you're gonna feel. So it's a win-win situation. And we're out banging out the steps and you should be too, especially during the digging phase. Do not let adaptive thermogenesis kick in or at least try your best to fight against it, okay? Because the main thing during the digging phase that's gonna happen, seeing as calories are so low, is that your neat is just gonna go boom all the way down because your body is trying to reduce your overall energy expenditure and it's gonna make creating that calorie deficit a lot harder. So no matter how tired you are, get up off your ass and go to the motherland numero uno to bang out your steps, okay? You're going through the effort of the digging phase, the last thing you wanna do is compromise everything by just turning into a potato. So yes, we are at the motherland numero uno, but we're not actually going there. We're going across the road to Super Valu. I have connections who have told me something very, very interesting. Now, whether it's true, I do not know, but we will, oh my God, it is. So basically we are in the cereal aisle, AKA the best aisle in the world. And you already know white chocolate cocoa pops are my favorite cereal. And look at this, 
One euro fifty. I mean, seriously, guys, one euro fifty. I have never seen it that cheap. I mean, the gods of the white chocolate cocoa pops are shining down. I mean, it's even cheaper than like the store brand cereal. So one sixty five, one eighty nine for rice crunchy. So yeah, that has to be a typo. But I'm gonna go for. Oh god. Okay, I have to say I am sort of ashamed of this. Do I have an addiction? Yes, I certainly do. But we got five boxes. Oh dear God, safe to say that'll probably last me three days. But anyway, let's get to your dinner. And this is what we're working with. Okay, so we have pasta boiling up there and the key is going to be to use so much water and let it boil for ages because we don't have a lot. We are digging here. Then we have two cod fillets with some chopped tomatoes in there, some cayenne pepper. So yeah, it was an absolute bargain. But yeah, okay, so fish and pasta you would have seen in the graph are up there with some of the most satiating foods on the planet. So those are our two satiety foods. Then in terms of volume, of course, we're gonna go for another bag of mushrooms and the goat, that is cauliflower and spinach. So without further ado, Boom! Okay, so we have the fish, which is cooked up in the tomato sauce. Oh my days, that goes into the wok, like so. Then we have drained off the pasta. That is in the pot also, and that also goes into the wok, like so. Woo, look at the steam. Man, this is the cooking show. Then you get the lid to your wok, you pop it on there, and then you know the deal. That's right, we could have served it in another casserole dish, but it only seems fair to include the bowl the size of your head. Familia Italiana, this is like pasta marinara, and I know I'm gonna get called out for this, but we are just gonna add a smidgen bit of cheese on top. I know Italian fam, you are gonna be disappointed adding cheese on fish, but I mean cheese is the magic number. <laughs> Appreciated family, forget about Greg Doucette's anabolic kitchen. We are talking Scott Murray's high volume kitchen. Look at that, pasta marinara, the size of your head. And I am not messing around. We're getting you shredded in the digging phase while eating out of bowls the size of your head. So yeah, in terms of macros, 45 grams of carbs, 11 fat and 52 protein. So 487 calories. And that is gonna be your dinner ticked off the list. Finito, and I already know you're probably asking, oh my God, that's a lot of food. I'm pretty full for just like 1,500 calories. Well, there is one more meal and that is gonna be your macro capper. But here's the deal, family. So if you were looking at that graph by Holt et al. 1995 very closely, you would have seen that oats are up there with the most satiating foods. So I was gonna try to include them as best as possible, but we are actually running out of macros. I mean, this is a very low calorie meal plan and we can't be sort of filling it up with oats. Which means for the macro capper, we're gonna have to forgo the satiety food and instead just go for the volume food for which we're gonna pick up some xanthan gum. So if you're smart enough and have been watching all my videos, which I highly recommend you do, you will know exactly what we're gonna make up. The absolute game changer. Perfect, the protein fluff of peace. And you know what guys, ever since I did the recipe video, I have been perfecting it and we are filling up literally our five liter Tupperware with just one scoop of whey protein. So yes, if you missed the recipe video, that'll also be linked down below. But this whole tub, you're talking 81 calories. So two grams of carbs, one gram of fat and 16 grams of protein for this whole thing, the size of your head. And that is gonna be your macro capper, I mean, that is gonna fill you up and send you on a trip to Food Baby City. So thank me later. Oh my God, family. That was an absolute whopper. I didn't really want to start that to be honest, but we did like a 10K run and then like 300 lunges and 250 goblet squats. Not fun, but I feel fantastic, sort of. And oh my God, people, it's been like several hours later and I can already feel the doms kicking in, but yes, that is gonna be the full video Finito, and I already know you're asking, what are the total macros for this digging meal plan? Well, you're talking 137 grams of carbs, 34 grams of fat, and 186 grams of protein. So 1,598 calories. So yeah, if you like this style of videos, please let me know by smashing the like button, subscribing to the channel. You know, the plan would be to like continue these, but just integrate different recipes and sort of have different sort of calorie requirements. So yes, that is gonna be that. Your full on digging phase, if you follow it and get in killer shape, then I want to know. So that is the end of this video. Hope you all have a good day and see you all in the next video. Bye.